normal time down. There could be a brief hold at the 19 second mark as the sequencer is put into effect. The engines on the Atlas will ignite at the four second mark in the countdown. And at about the zero mark, we will get liftoff with full thrust of those three engines at the base of the Atlas vehicle. That is the sustainer and the two booster engines give us a total thrust of 390,000 pounds. Now, just passing the two minute mark on the Atlas Agena count at this point, the range safety commands have gone on internal power in the vehicle. And as some you can see here on our picture of the uh, spacecraft, uh, there at the 100-foot level on the Titan, that uh, they seem to be have some difficulty closing the hatches. Our final phase of checkout is still looking good at this time. T-minus 90 seconds and counting. T-minus 90 seconds and counting. The Atlas vehicle is completely on internal power at this point. Now one minute and 15 seconds away from Atlas Agena liftoff. This is Gemini Launch Control. T minus 60 seconds and counting. T minus 60. T-minus 50 seconds and counting. At this point, the launch vehicle test conductor has a series of lights on his console. They will all turn from amber to green as the count continues. This is not a Matic. T-minus 40 seconds and counting. T-minus 30 seconds and counting, and our final check still give us a go condition at this time. T minus 20, T minus 19, 18, 18 holding momentarily, T minus 15 seconds and counting, T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.
temporary loss of data right at Nico could be a serious problem, but he said it's his coming back in. That's the voice of our shop at Mission Control in Houston. We're standing by hoping that that data is coming in. It will be necessary. Mission Control, clear into our flight boards. We do not as yet have second stage ignition. Our flight dynamics officer just reported to the flight director that he believes we have second stage ignition. Keep us three minutes and 20 seconds. These are breathless moments at Houston, certainly. Second stage ignition is necessary to boost that Agena on up into orbit. Some of our data on our flat boards here at Mission Control. The sustainer engine was supposed to cut in at uh, just as the booster engine cut off. That was now a minute and a half ago when the Atlas was some 30 miles high, 44 miles down range, and moving about 7,000 miles an hour. But this is an ominous silence from Houston. and 10 seconds. We have lost the data on our pot boards here. Our flight director, Gene Kranz, is attempting to raise the range safety officer, officer at Cape Kennedy. As yet with no success. The range safety officer here at Cape Kennedy is in charge of monitoring the evidence. 30 seconds. Progress of the, of the spaceship. And if the rocket goes awry or in a case of this kind where he loses data and cannot be certain where it is, he must send a signal to destroy the booster and the spacecraft. Of course, if our main spacecraft, that report here, passed on by flight dynamics, the range safety officer, we understand, says we are flying low with the Gina and make them in. We have a report now, a second stage ignition. A report now, a second stage ignition coming at a time some 20 seconds after a second stage should have been cutting off. That report of SECO was a second stage cut off, not ignition. These are very confused reports coming out of Houston. Agena advises we have had Nico your engine cut off and separation. Here in Mission Control, our plant boards do not give us the data that we need to report to you. We are now five minutes and 50 seconds into the mission. At this point, the Agena is uh, well downrange, and as a matter of fact, uh, the Agena primary propulsion system burn is still coming 10 seconds from now. That's a critical point at which we lost the Agena on uh, Gemini 6, you remember, when there was an explosion. This is very confusing. We do not have two minutes. Six minutes, minutes, 20 seconds. We still have no actual word on the condition of our burden. At this point, uh, we're 10 seconds beyond the point we should have had that Agena primary propulsion system burn, 16,000 pounds. Plus. Six minutes, 30 seconds. We still have no definite word on the condition of our bird. The data on our plot boards does not attempt, or does not give us uh, the figures we need to read out. It's very puzzling how the range safety officer could have uh, permitted the flight to continue. Bill Schneider said that we do not have any definite word on our bird, but it does not look good at this time. Six minutes, coming up on seven minutes into the flight. If, uh, by some great misfortune, we have lost this Agena, uh, then this mission, the manned mission of Germany 9, will be postponed for at least two weeks, after which they will put up an augmented target adapter, so-called,